Welcome to Melbourne. We just landed and I'm so excited because there's sunshine and we're not in Sydney. Let's go. <laughs> Where are we heading? We're headed to the hotel right now so we can drop off all this stuff and then we're gonna run around town like a bunch of monkeys. There's bird cages. Wow. Don't mess around on this one. Little bird cage. Don't show them the whole room. We're supposed to do a room tour. Welcome to my crib. All right, don't don't show the past here. No, 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 no. You can't see past here. We'll show you this in a minute. Come this way. So most places have regular coffee places. This has a cute little mini Nespresso situation. And inside of this very long drawer, two coffee mugs. So welcome to our king size premium bedroom with the premium bath, which is my favorite part, always, always. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come, come, Throughout come. the entire hotel are these arches that lead you into this magnificent bathroom that is also rounded like an arch. Come on in. So key features in this bathroom are obviously the soaking tub along with the fizzy bath bomb and bath salts and the stand-up shower. Additionally, the rounded beautiful windows here that can be wrapped with blackout curtains for privacy. Overall, this bathroom is just plain stunning. And lastly, there's a hidden pocket door for more privacy. Both of us are absolutely starving. Okay, hold on. So we're going to find food and... I want to explore this, this for is... just a second because I need to see what this is. I wonder if the pool's inside or outside. Are we exploring? Just for a second. I mean... You can't see it. Brad's shaking his head behind the camera. And this one was just complaining about being so hungry. And that she didn't want to explore no. the hotel right now. She wanted to go down and find food. And now well, this is we want to explore cool. one thing. It's called the honey eater rooms. What does that mean? Oh, what? People. <gasps> so straight off the lift, it smells really, really good. Yeah, well, I'm hungry too, but. What are the honey eater rooms? Maybe, maybe that's what they call this. This is the honey eater room. Can I go explore? little setup that they have here is so freaking cute. Except 
smells so good in there. Well, that's really cute that they did that. I'm really, really enjoying all the greenery versus, um, you know, the urban. It's really, really cool. Like this fake plant they put up on the wall. That's I assume. not fake. That's a real plant. Is it? Yes. Okay, it's so a plant wall. It's a plant wall. They're growing this plant wall, plant wall right here. So you've got all the urban aspects to it, but then you've got green patches all over the place. It's great. I love it. You go, girl. Oh, I really like this one, though. Yeah, I really like this. They had the same equipment in, um, I forget what country we were in. Oh, it was when we were in Switzerland and we stayed at that hotel. We're staying at the Art Deco Hotel Montana. It's just in the hillside and overlooking Lake Lucerne. Yeah. Yeah. Is it very Scandinavian? Yeah, they have the same like technogen equipment. She really sticks in there. Last little thing about the hotel and then we're leaving. It's weird how it's set up because it's like curves and there's little paths and it's and it's like I don't know, you can It's like portals. Or a maze or something like that. Not corn, but like a maze that you go through. Right. Well, I like the way you said it. Maze. 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 It's fantastic, okay? It's amazing. Just... <laughs> Anyways, to finish up what I was saying there, very interesting building so far. We'll explore more later. Spicy ramen, Brad got miso ramen. How'd you feel about that? Miso, good. All right, we're continuing on. Uh, I saw that there was a gelato place somewhere around here, so we're gonna find that for sure. That gelato that. right over. You're so weird. greener on the other side it doesn't matter where you live it's if it's your hometown you don't want to stay in your hometown to give you a little backstory Nicole was just talking to one of the girls that were scooping that was scooping ice cream uh, behind the counter and Gelato. She, she said uh, that she's from Florence Italy and Nicole was like shut up you're caught up now continue Florence is my favorite city in the entire world I love it, love it, love it. But as she was saying, you know, the grass is greener on the other side because it's your hometown. I feel the same way. If anybody knows me from Paulden County, I'm not moving back. <laughs> so I got uh, Nutella and Fiore Latte. Really good, creamy texture, great flavors. Nutella's really coming through on this one. Hi, Bjorn. Busy. Okay. I will say though that the um, ice content is a little bit too 
much for authentic gelato. I'm being really snobby about that, sorry. again. It worked. What just happened to us, Bentley? We thought we were on 26. And we're not on 26. <laughs> because we clearly still live in Sydney where we're on the 26th floor in a hotel and not on the 18th floor. So we're holding our key and it's like, nope, nope. So we just come up to the, the floor room. Going down. The reception area. Remember, don't mess around on that elevator. It'll lock you in, send you back down. Alrighty guys, that is it for the evening. We're done for walking around. I think we're spent for the night. So. Hey, hey, hey. All right, since we're starting this new vlogging for 2024. Why are we going to a, a more vlog style format than what we've done in the past? Not to say that we won't be doing some of the other things, but. The thing is just like to make it easier on ourselves for editing purposes, but also to show you guys a little bit more of who we are instead of trying to cater to the algorithm. Uh, we really just want you guys to know who we are and really just come along the journey with us. And we also noticed in how much you guys watched and commented, um, uh, how much you love like our Korea series everybody really really enjoyed that and um, Two days is one of our outside of the, the van build. Um, yeah, is one of our most popular series so. We just want to make better videos for you guys essentially We hope that at the end of the day that you get to learn something from wherever it is that we are That makes you want to travel to that place if not learn something take something away End goal. Okay. Your question. So, since we're starting this vlog style thing um, in 2024, we're introducing confessionals, and they may not happen all the time. Okay. But well, when we sit in front of the camera like this, yeah. It's so a confessional. today's three questions are, and we're gonna do a one minute, one minute for both of us. So keep it short. Third question. No, just one minute to answer all the things. Yes. Keep it short and sassy now. That's sweet and sassy. All right. Okay, so. I'm tired and sassy. <laughs> first three qu questions, three questions and answer. Okay. Okay. One thing that made you happy today. Okay. Uh, one thing that you wish could have been better today. Okay. And one thing you look forward to tomorrow. Okay. Ready? Go. Um, one thing that made me happy today was we both feel better. Um, not great. We're not 100%, but I feel better today, and I genuinely enjoyed the day, and it was sunny in Sydney, and then it was okay here, not too bad. The weather's a little cooler. Um, what was the second question? Um, one thing better. gone better. Nicole and I always stress out on, on actual travel days, not when we're traveling, but like the travel day, and that's something that we need to get better at for sure. One thing you look forward to tomorrow, five seconds. We are going to eat and drink coffee tomorrow. We're not gonna eat coffee. I'm gonna drink it. I'm excited. All right, my one minute starts now and I'll keep it short and sassy. One thing that made me happy was getting out of the other freaking hotel today and just getting on with the rest of our trip because I feel like we got held back um, with unfortunate circumstances. It is what it is, but I'm just glad that we're kind of moving forward from there. We're saying, okay, that's done, we're moving on. Uh, one thing I wish that could have gone better today was just really acknowledging the fact that we were traveling again because when we got to the airport in Sydney, I feel like we were just kind of like, not sure what was happening at the moment. The luggage situation was really weird. Um, and then just kind of like getting here, not really 
being oriented as we normally would be. And then tomorrow I'm really looking forward to just having a different experience and just letting Melbourne take us in. All right. Did you make your 60 seconds? With so, time to spare. So I will say this, all the questions were drafted by this one. So she cheated and that's all there is to it. Then you get the next one. Cool. All right, guys. Are we done? I'm done. I'm gonna go check myself into that tub. That bathtub? Yeah, there's right. a reservation for party of one. All right. If you want party of two, but party of one for Ooh. sure. Bye. Okay, we gotta go. Good morning, you lovely people. Hi, uh, Nicole ran to get a little jog in at the, at the little gym here. And I've been doing some computer work. And now we're gonna go meet her for breakfast. Let's go. Good morning. I just got done with my workout. It wasn't long enough, because someone interrupted. That's great. I told him 35 minutes, which is probably fine. It's the first workout of the year. And just still getting through the rest of this. So, taking it easy on the first workout of 2024. Ready? I'm very hungry, yes. All right guys, we are headed back out into the town. We're, we're gonna go check out some of Melbourne's culture. Drinks, food, and art. Let's go. corner of Burke Street and Swanson Street and it's kind of the hub of where all of the shopping and things are happening. We've got the light rail going on between us. It's really fun because all the Christmas stuff is still hanging up right now so it's very festive but it's very lively in here and I enjoy it. I'm glad somebody enjoys it. This is not my... I feel like we're on a hunt for culture, but Nicole's really just shopping. Hi, I got the uh, iced Biscoff coffee, which I'm super thrilled about. Everyone loves a good Biscoff. Oh, so good. So good. You gotta try this one. So in case you're wondering, why Melbourne has so many coffee shops. It's because during World War II, the Italians were sick for home, so they brought coffee with them, which now has just become a cool place to hang out and enjoy coffee. Fun fact, right? That is fun. I'm watching this uh, artist basically recreate uh, iPhone emojis. I see that. <laughs> it's so oh. stupid. 
Alright, let's move along. Okay, let's go. Alright. This is definitely <laughs> more Nicole's scene. She's into like this modern and interpretive art and stuff like that. And I'm like I like the I like I like the classics. The classics. A lot of this new interpretive stuff is just weird. It's like was that Cartoon Network thing at night? Which one? The, the really, really weird, weird one. The one with the chicken? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. All I hear is this stupid song in my head. Yep. But it just, it, Robot Chicken. Oh. It, it just, all this stuff reminds me of too many kids that just watched Robot Chicken and are regurgitating all the weird shit that they saw on there. the museum here and it closes at five but it thank is, god <laughs> but it is free to the public so you can come on right in um, they do require for you to check your bags if you have anything larger than a small handbag so um, photo video all available no flash photography though uh, thumbs up by me thumbs Thumbs down by Brad. Uh, highly recommend starting from the top, working your way down, because a lot of the um, more classic art is um, in the upper levels, which we didn't get to get to, but just a couple of rooms. So, so I'm coming here, start top, work your way down. Let's move on to something else. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. What do you, where'd you bring us? Here on uh, Hosier Lane. It reminds me a lot of Seattle and the gum wall. If you've ever been to the gum wall, it looks just like this. It's just paint and gum everywhere. Melbourne's most celebrated laneway for street art. Hosier Lanes draw camera-wielding crowds to its colorful canvas of graffiti, stencils, and art installations. The changing subject matter runs from political to counterculture and everything in between. That's a lot of intricate work just for that. So that's fancy. Alright, where do we go next? Food? Coffee? Something? definitely come across a lot of these little alleyways where you have food and different uh, libations if you prefer but just to stop while you're shopping and cruising around the town you can stop get a bite and uh, hang out chill out Yeah. Got the Nona slice and the cheese slice for you. Okay, so. So far, just with one slice, I would say that Sydney has a better pizza scene than Melbourne. Just by the single slice. Now, don't discount that we haven't gone to all the pizzerias here, but slice by slice, I'm gonna say Sydney wins.
was delicious. Uh, it was highly recommended by uh, one of the hotel reception guys that checked us in. And what highly recommend it, it's called Rice Paper Scissors. Rice Paper Scissors, we'll forget that. Anyway. Yeah, very good chicken. We're headed back to the hotel. We're pretty spent walking around all day today and yesterday. I'm just gonna. Well, I guess we're walking. Yeah, we're walking. This is our hotel way up there. And this is literally the spot to be. I mean, So just in case you're wondering why we've had so many coffees and lattes in the last few days here in Melbourne, because there's over 2,000 coffee shops here in the city and they bring in 30 tons of beans every single day, which is enough to make a million cups of coffee a day. A million, just think about how much coffee that really and truly is. You can get a latte, a cup of coffee, a pour over, literally anything, anywhere, lining the streets all over Melbourne. And each one of them is equally delicious. And just to let you guys know, the coffee shops that we have visited while being in Melbourne have only been around two blocks in each direction of our hotel. So that just shows you just the proximity and we haven't even touched all of them. It's just Oh, I did like that. Does have this big flakes of salt on it? It's spiky. It's a little wet. I think it has honey. Yeah, that's Brad approved. Alright, how much is this sip? Good. Shoot across the street. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait, wait. Do it. I like how weight means go faster. That was fun. <laughs> First sips were good. Donut was really good. I never know what to think when you go into a coffee place and they don't have like flavors. I, maybe I'm just ignorant when it comes to coffee and you shouldn't eat flavor, but I like vanilla. I'm vanilla baby. What do you think? To elaborate. I want Brad to say that they did not have a vanilla option. So there was no vanilla syrup or caramel syrup or anything else like that. So we got a raw dog latte and uh, they served it in a very traditional way with sparkling water, which is supposed to really enhance the flavor of the espresso. I think, and I did not add any sugar, Brad did add some sugar to his. I think it's a really great latte so far. I love you, uh, digging the jams here, too. They get an extra point. Oh, are we grading these? No. Oh, we should. I disagree. That's way too much work. <laughs> Alright. What do you think about your coffee here? So much better. Yeah, no, the coffee here is way better. I was kind of thinking the coffee at the other place is better. Why? Mm. This is this tastes like machine coffee. Like you put it out of a what are those called? Like an espresso? Yeah, like an espresso machine. Whereas the other one tasted like somebody took the beans between their hands and just squeezed them and got the juice out and then heated them up under a torch or something. I will say I think that Flavor-wise, this is better, obviously, because they have choices of vanilla, caramel, and something else. Yeah. But there's just something about like the 
the thickness and like the, the mouthiness of it. I oh, I know about mouthiness. It's only about just like it hangs around like your your taste buds a little bit differently than this is. This mm -hmm. is like a little bit lighter. What kind of what kind of milk did you use? Um, almond. Both of us? No, maybe. That's probably the difference. Maybe. Like real milk versus almond milk. Well, no, we did oat milk on the last one. Oh, that's true. Yeah, which makes it a little thicker. I can dig it. Hi, welcome to Palermo. We're gonna have steak. It's gonna be like. It's gonna be great. Welcome to Argentina in Australia. Enjoy. This is your beef, and this is your eggplant, and they most certainly have a machine to crimp. It's not too holy, so yeah. That's it open. Very hot. We have the potato croquettes, sides of chimichurri and salsa. So tonight I'm having the flank steak. We're having the broccolini that we're sharing. And you eat. Steak. Steak. They call it the lomo. Um, I believe it's just a, uh, like a filet. Dinner was amazing. I didn't eat as much steak as I thought that I would, but I did take home one little afajor. I think Brad enjoyed the steak more than I did. I certainly did. It was a good steak. It took me back to Argentina and the asado. 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 I'll never get that right. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's been very interesting eating here in Melbourne because there's so many different varieties of food here. It's very multicultural. I've been dreading. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's video. We hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure that you give us that thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you come back next week as we rent a van. Did you guys know they drive on the wrong side of the road?